Are you guys afraid of snakes? What are you afraid of? Before we get into this video, leave a comment down below and let me know what you are afraid of. Hey, maybe we'll do a contest and see who's afraid of the strangest, weirdest thing and maybe give it away a t-shirt or something cool like that. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? What do you say? You wanna do it? Let's do it. Of the morning friends and family how we doing today so I was thinking about doing some crazy phonetic Friday stuff like maybe five minute Friday or free photo Friday or something phonetic with Friday because uh, things those things always hit off pretty well right like taco Tuesday throwback Thursday fun facts friendly photos but I didn't know if I wanted to try and limit myself to five minutes and then plus with what we just did on the revamp on the channel with uh, posting one day less a week I don't know if you guys would get all freaked out he's gonna cut out a day and now only five minutes on Friday but you know I've determined that it doesn't matter how long the video is as long as the video is good that's the most important part is that the video is good I mean do you guys just want me to show you snakes cinematography and just Shut the front door already. What are you afraid of Friday? What are some common things that people are afraid of snakes? Spiders ah! Heights oh. Public speaking what about drowning? Small dark spaces people Look everybody it's Dave Mr. Kaufman. Cusco. Hey, check this out. I'm so glad you called because we're doing a uh, we're doing a vlog on on fear and like what what you're afraid of. So what what is one of your greatest fears? What is your greatest fear? You know, to be honest, I don't fear a lot. There's there's really nothing that scares me except for one thing. What's that? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I almost uh a video on you. Uh, the only thing that scares me is people. People? Yep. Yep. People are... Yeah, people can be scary. Clowns? So those of you that are afraid of clowns are probably going to hate this story. But my uncle used to always tell us kids ghost stories at night. And one of the stories that always stuck with me was him retelling the tale of It. And the thing was, he was so good at telling these stories. That's why we loved them so much, even though they scared the crap out of us. And for those of you that don't know it, that's it. Scary clown demon creature thing that feeds on the fear of little children. So he told us that story on multiple occasions and it was just ingrained in my brain. Eventually when I got into middle school, I actually read the book. And then in high school, I watched the, I think it was a straight to TV movie. So when the remake of it came out in theaters last year, I had to go and see it. And I did. And it, I wasn't that, it wasn't that bad. You know, I think because I'm so familiar with the story, it's been a big part of my life that it wasn't that big a deal. Now why this is important is because I cannot watch horror movies. I can't even watch the trailer for a horror movie without it sinking in my brain and eating up my being. Okay, the reason I told you about that is because it ties into what I'm actually afraid of. Again, the famous saying, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. As cliche as that sounds, that is the case for me. I, I'm actually afraid of being afraid. It's completely irrational, but that's the kind of fear I have. So I can't even watch the trailer for a scary movie because they're, they're meant to invoke a fear response. And it scares the crap out of me. It gets my wheels turning. If I even catch a glimpse of a horror movie trailer, it'll stick with me for weeks. It hits me the hardest when I go out to bring the trash can at night. <laughs> I'll walk down there in the dark, like a normal person, but inside I'm freaking out. I can't put the thought out of my mind that someone or something is watching me. Sometimes I'll even stop to hear if I can hear someone following me. I 
I know, I know it's ridiculous, but this happens. And then I'll hear the slightest noise and think, there's something out there. Call me crazy, but that is definitely my biggest fear, is it's actually be afraid. Okay, it doesn't help that I have actually had a run-in with the supernatural to make me think that things like that are actually out there and get the wheels turning again. Listen to this. When we were touring through Butte, Montana, we had this random gig in Butte, Montana, this place called the Silver Dollar Inn. Booked it last minute, and I was always the first person out of the van to go and inspect where we're gonna play and see what's going on with the place and make sure our accommodations are all taken care of, how much we're supposed to be getting paid, what time we're supposed to start, all those details. I was always the first person out of the van, everybody else is just sitting in there just lollygagging. So I go up, the guy says, you guys are staying upstairs, so I, I go, go, go check it out, and I'm walking up these stairs, and this, Keep in mind, Butte, Montana was the biggest city west of the Mississippi in the 1800s, I believe. It was like an old copper mining town that was pretty much shut down. When we rolled into town, the thing I remember seeing the most was more dogs on the street than people and a huge billboard for an anti-meth campaign. <laughs> it, was, it was nuts. So I'm walking up these stairs, going to check it out. And as I'm getting close to the top of the stairs, I see this guy standing there in a red flannel. I'll never forget the guy standing there in the red flannel. Out of, out of my peripheral vision, I could see him over here. I, I get up and I kind of look over and he's not there. And I was like, okay, I swear. I, I still to this day, I can remember plain as day, seeing that guy in my peripheral vision and he's not there. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And it's kind of dark up there, kind of creepy. And I head back down the stairs. <laughs> Go get our band dog, Turbo. This dog is notorious for going anywhere. You throw him a ball, he will fetch it. He's gung-ho. We named him Turbo for a reason. That dog would not follow me up those stairs. I had to pick him up and carry him up the stairs and he was shaking like a leaf. Freaky. Freaky stuff. That night, so, so the band was always fighting over who got to have the biggest room with the biggest bed at the end of the night. At the end of that night, the entire band slept in the same room. And there were seven rooms up in this place, okay? <laughs> then we listened to an old Black Sabbath tape all night, but anyway, story time's over. Hey Noah, what are you afraid of? afraid of red ants and fire ants and also swimming in the water and stepping on a sea urchin and that's all I know. <laughs> now could you hit me down? Yeah. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of the chair? Yeah. What are you talking about? Take out it. What are you scared of? That. What? That pokey thingy. The pokey thingy? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a rock Are you scared of anything else? Yeah. What? I'm scared of those pokey thingies. Well, we're at the Too Slow Turtle Club meeting now, and if you guys are in San Luis Obispo, you gotta come down. We, we're gonna feed you. We got pizza. We got pizza. We got lots of cool animals here today. More animals. I thought we were gonna have alligators. We do have alligators, but we have way more than just alligators today. You know, one of my fears at these meetings is that somebody's gonna take a piece of pizza and not close the box. Come on.
It's a good day. This is awesome. Thank you for bringing it. It's so cool. Somebody want this on the shoulders? No? It's safe? Shoulders? No. No? No. Nobody's shoulders? But I want to go past you, please. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, put them on your shoulders, Brandon. Come on, dude. Come on. You're a big guy. Get up here. One. Peer pressure. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You don't trust me? Look at this. No. Snake. No. <laughs> Look at this snake, dude. So, Look, I'm the president of the chapter. So cool. Look. Come on, man. Come on. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah. All right. No, here, come on. Just throw it. Just throw it. <laughs> all right. We're doing this. Oh, it's all, it's all gooey. Oh, no. <laughs> now, we're, now, we're, now we have to hang up. Gooey <laughs> snake. Now we're talking. There we go. Can't be the president of a reptile club and not hold a snake. I mean, you could. There we go. I know. Hey, Brandon. What are you afraid of? Um, a lot of things. Yeah. Anything, uh, any phobias in particular? Um. The snake going down my pants. That's that's a real phobia right now. <laughs> that would be a great phobia right now. There we go. Brandon has some surprising ad adversity to holding the snake right now. I was quite surprised. Going to what a hammock. Quite a bonding experience we have going on here. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm outside my house in the bushes with nothing but the light of the moon and I just wanted to encourage you guys to, whatever you're afraid of, go out and conquer it. Get past it. Face it. Because the bulk of this world's problems comes from fear and people being afraid. So if you can just face whatever it is you're afraid of, whether it's something supernatural looking outside the bushes outside your house, being afraid of snakes, whatever it is. Now, be safe, of course, but, but face your fear and the, the power that you'll feel from that is gonna mean nothing short of... What was that? <laughs> I'm out of here.